Hey, what's up? Yen here and I'm back with another review video and today I'm so happy because I narrowly missed a chicken that crossed the road. Seems that quite a number of chickens are crossing the road these days. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to talk about this. This is the uh, Hydesys S9 Pro uh, Plus. It is a dongle uh, DAC, uh, headphone and earphones amplifier. This small little thing will convert uh, your digital audio signal uh, to analog so that you can plug in your headphones and enjoy your music. Okay. Now, at the time of filming this video, this uh, device just launched and uh, I think starting from 16th of November all the way to 30th of November uh, and for the first 100 orders uh, the retail price for this just for for those people uh, within that 100 orders is 69.99 and on top of that for just you guys if you guys were to apply the discount code uh, flashing here which is infan uh, 5 off you'll get additional 5% off uh, on top of that 69.99 price point who doesn't like a discount right so if i were you guys i'll check out the unaffiliated link in the description below as soon as i can now in this video i'm just going to go through very quickly the specifications and then uh, my sound impression of this little dongle and then i'll compare it uh, maybe with the m15 okay now let's start with the uh, specifications i think for some of you it's very important uh, the DAC chip in here is the es9038 q2m chip and uh, is capable to uh, decode uh, dsd up to 512 and for the PCM support, it supports up to 768 kilohertz at 32 bits, okay? So that's for the resolving part of it. And then there's the output, which is very important as well. There are two outputs here, which is the single-ended and of course the balance output, which is the 4.4. Now for the single ended, uh, the output is 138 milliwatts per channel, which is the left and the right channel. And then you have the balance output, which is the bigger hole here, uh, which is the 4.4 millimeter output. Uh, that will give you up to 180 milliwatts per channel. Okay, so that's the power output. Now, in terms of the design and build quality of this, uh, well, a small, it's small. It comes in three colors, by the way. This is the blue, which is my favorite color. It also comes in black and white. Uh, and the accessories that comes with it is pretty simple. It's got this uh, USB-C to USB-C uh, cable. It also comes with this. This is an adapter whereby uh, for those of you who doesn't have USB-C on your device, maybe the older computers, uh, then you'll need this USB-C to USB-A uh, adapter, okay? So that's the physical part of this thing. And also, uh, you obviously, uh, is the two headphone jacks that you see here, which is the single-ended 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and then the uh, balance 4.4 uh, headphone jack here. Okay, and then for the buttons, they're just a simple two button here. And uh, this is the volume up and volume down. And also it doubles up as the uh, uh, mode. Or you can change the filter. If you press the two buttons simultaneously, you will change the filter. Okay, there are seven different filters for you to choose from. And as you press it, it will uh, rotate or you know cycle through the different filters. And then you know you choose the one that you like. And over here, there is an LED or RGB LED indicator. And this will show you uh, the different colors. Let me just connect it to my phone so that it comes on. So as you can see, uh, the light comes on and, and you see green here. So uh, the different colors will, uh, will represent uh, different um, formats that you are listening to. So the highest is, I think is blue or is it red? I can't remember. So. Yeah, I can't remember all the different colors. There are so many colors. Uh, so it, it will represent, uh, the lowest will be green, of course, uh, which is, I think, 44.1, and it goes all the way up to DSD 512, all right? So yeah, that's the uh, display of this. So it's a very simple device. It's a very small device. It just disappears into my palm. It's not very heavy, it's very light. Uh, and uh, overall, this is a very nice design. I mean, if you look at this, if, if you compare it to the M15, look at the size difference. It's almost double, right? The M15 is almost double the size of this um, S9 Pro Plus, okay? Now let's talk about sound for this. And this is a warm, uh, I wouldn't say 
fun. It's quite fun. It's not very fun, uh, but it's quite casual. It's a casual uh, set, right? And it's warm sounding as well. And overall, the tone uh, and timbre for this is pretty textured and heavy. Uh, and um, yeah, it's a very musical set. Okay, very musical set. It's not neutral sounding. It's not a reference sounding or lean or anything like that. So for those of you who want something more analytical sound, more neutral sound, uh, then this may not be for you. But for those of you who just want to enjoy your music, this is actually a very good, good uh, dongle uh, deck for you guys. Okay. So now in terms of bass, it's a very punchy bass. It's a very, very nice presentation of the bass. Very forward bass as well. The mids are also forward, surprisingly. Uh, and the treble is alright. Treble is uh, decent, decent, okay. Uh, sound stage is wide, alright. It's a very wide sound stage, uh, as wide as the M15, okay, which I'll compare with. Actually, why not, you know, I just compare it with the M15, okay, in terms of sound. First, let's talk about the difference in price. This is $250 US, and this is just $69 US, and on top of that 5% discount, uh, you'll get maybe 60, 60 plus, okay. So it's almost three times uh, cheaper than the M15. Now, in terms of the M15, M15 sounds leaner, sounds more reference, more um, neutral sounding as compared to the uh, S9 Pro Plus, okay. Uh, sound stage is almost similar, both of them. And the bass, the S9 Pro Plus has got more bass, right, it's more forward in terms of the bass. Uh, mids, the S, the M15 is more forward. Uh, treble wise, the M15 is sounds cleaner in, on the higher end. It's got more shimmer as well uh, for the treble for the uh, M15. And overall resolution, I would say mm, the M15 is just a little bit more resolute than the S9 Pro Plus. Okay, but I mean, you look at the price point. This is three times more than this. It's more powerful as well. I mean, it's got, it's got more. Um, it's got a, a, a gain here, right? And uh, I would say, yeah, it's it's more powerful. It can power most of my earphones, my IEMs, and this is also capable to power most of my IEMs, especially the cleaners. Uh, so it it's not it's not slacking on that power part. Uh, but I would say the M15 has got a little bit, a little bit more power uh, than this S9 Pro Plus. Alright, so that's a very quick comparison with the uh, M15. And I would say for just $69.99, this is actually a very capable little dongle deck. And the sound of it is fun. So if you like something more musical, something that, you know, uh, is more for enjoyment sake, this is actually a very cheap and very good dongle to go for. Okay, and also you can choose the filters, change the filters to uh, something that you like. Okay, which the M15 doesn't have. Okay, and yeah, I do recommend this for the price. You know, this is uh, in terms of price to performance. This is a very good good product to go for. And that's it. That concludes my overall uh, review for this uh, Hydesis S9 Pro Plus. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a great day ahead. And I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.